The next item to be discussed when it comes to foodborne illness is chemical contamination, which can occur from a variety of sources. One of the first items on this list are items that you use in an attempt to protect your clients or your customers. The sanitizers, soaps, and the cleaning agents that you use on your utensils and food preparation surfaces. It is critical that you remove these chemicals from these surfaces completely so that they do not inadvertently end up in the food that you are ultimately serving and that you also store them, the chemicals, in a safe area away from your food production environment. Lubricants, oils, or grease can fall into food accidentally depending upon the equipment that you are using to prepare your products. Know your equipment, train your employees to be on the lookout for any possible issues prior to leakage or breakage occurring, and ensure that your equipment is maintained properly as well as consistently to reduce any unnecessary risk. One of the most important aspects of food processing is eliminating pests within the food production environment. As such, the use of pesticides is common and frequent to ensure a clean and pest-free environment. Due to the nature of the chemicals, their hazards, their possible proximity to food preparation areas, and with certain chemicals effective in treating specific species, always leave pest control up to a professional pest control company. They know how and where to place the correct pesticides so that your food surfaces are protected and safe, keeping your customers safe, while also ensuring the maximum benefit from the pesticides placed. Lastly, toxic metals can leach into food from the very devices that are being used to prepare or store them. Cooking or storing acidic products in copper, lead, or brass containers can cause unwanted hazardous materials leaching into your product. The same goes for the utensils being used to prepare or serve the product. Always stick to commercial grade equipment. On the positive side, if you are counseling an individual who is frequently anemic, inform them to use an iron skillet when possible. This is one case where iron can leach safely out of the skillet and into the food. It is an easy way to pick up additional iron within the diet. RDStudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Network LLC. Any copying, reuse, or redistribution, in full or in part, for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Network LLC, is prohibited. All rights reserved.